So we are following the big crane and rigging uh, when all the trucks are attached. 1,086,000 pound megalode haul and it's now going under the US Highway 95 bridge. We're on an off ramp that connects with Highway 195 uh, over in Washington at some point. They cross ever so briefly into Washington State. Uh, they sort of do this triangle detour and then um, we wonder whether they even have a permit to travel this less than a mile section uh, over in Washington and then they the way they get back on uh, is sort of a, a left-hand turn back on to uh, US 95 in Idaho but uh, we suspect this particular bridge that we're coming up on that you can see that light passing overhead that's a vehicle up on the bridge one of the convoy cars with flashing lights uh, we suspect that this is a bridge that they do not trust the weights of megaloads on because uh, previously uh, the Omega Morgan megaloads which weighed considerably less than this one but still quite a bit uh, I'd say they were in the five six hundred thousand range they did the same kind of detour, so uh, sorry if this mostly looks like the back end of a passenger vehicle through uh, glass with lots of glare here, but there you can see a, a rig going on the bridge overhead there. Uh, but yeah, I guess you can sort of see the bridge here. I have to put this out the window so you can get a little better picture of it. But yeah, here's the bridge that we're going under. Just sort of hear the load a little bit up ahead. It's not a very tall bridge. That heck clearance didn't seem to give anybody any trouble. We're going under it now. Hear the load up ahead. Several, and you can see in the dark, it's got like three concrete pillars underneath on each side. And again, you know, we wonder if this thing has a permit. Well, anyway, right now, we, as far as we can tell, it's traveling illegally because uh, Wild Out of a Resin Tide submitted a petition on Friday afternoon. Uh, requesting a stay in reconsideration of the permit issuance by the Auto Transportation Department. Nonetheless, they took off at 10 p.m. as scheduled on Sunday night without so much as a thank you for your letter from ITD uh, and haven't addressed any of the uh, violations of Idaho Code that were addressed in that petition. So, um, yeah, traveling illegally is what trying to point out with that permit issuance, but hey, who's listening to Idaho citizens anyway?